Should I file a claim for my short and long-term disability benefits if I don't have a clear diagnosis? Well, my short answer to that is it depends on the circumstances. But as a general rule, I would say no. Disability insurance carriers are looking for a reason to de deny the payment of disability benefits. And they are really looking first off for a diagnosis. Symptoms are not a diagnosis. Symptoms do not equate to disability. Symptoms do not equate to restrictions and limitations. Symptoms are just symptoms. Many times I have to tell my clients or prospective clients that they need more objective testing to arrive at a diagnosis. And if we can't get that objective testing, that we really need to beef up our medical records to document the symptoms that you have, how those symptoms impact your um, functionality, but to see if we can't get the doctor to give you what's called a differential diagnosis. Like it might be, um, uh, chronic migraines versus a tumor. Uh, that's an extreme example, but at least we can coordinate uh, the symptoms with a potential diagnosis. And I think that goes a long way to helping a disability carrier get over the lack of a, a diagnosis. So the key to this really is what's in your medical records, uh, where are you at in the diagnostic process, how supportive your doctors are, what can we do to beef up uh, either the basis of a diagnosis, uh, but more importantly, how do we correlate those symptoms into restrictions and limitations that will result uh, in disability? And in fact, disable you right now from doing the material and substantial duties of your own occupation. You can see, depending on the nature of the medical condition, this can be a complex medical and legal issue, one in which you really do need to have the assistance of an experienced ERISA disability attorney such as myself. Why? I can't fix broken. What do I mean by that? We, it's really hard to go back and fix medical records that are not supportive of a diagnosis or not supportive of restrictions and limitations or not supportive of a causal relationship between why that diagnosis or why that symptom impairs your ability to do your own or any occupation. Jumping the gun can be dangerous and that's why I think you should be consulting with an experienced ERISA disability attorney to learn more about your rights to disability benefits, what's in your policy, what you need to prove, and making sure that you're picking the right date to become disabled. Right date meaning that your medical records support a diagnosis or support a set of symptoms that are disabling and meet the policy definition of disability. If you have any questions about your rights to disability insurance benefits, call me today at 727-894-3188. I can help you get the disability benefits you deserve regardless of where you live in the United States. Help is just a phone call away.